Wembley. Mr. Wembley, it happened again! Trademarks filed by Amblin Entertainment have revealed a potential title for the upcoming Jurassic World sequel. Yeah, that's right. Trademarks have once again unintentionally revealed the title of upcoming Jurassic projects, but is this one the actual movie title? Let's find out in this video. Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost. The next Jurassic World movie is currently filming in Malta. So let's learn the latest about all that and talk about that title. I said I'd call you. Welcome Jurassic fans, welcome Scarlett Johansson fans, thank you for being here and following along. In our last update on Jurassic World 4, we saw videos from Scarlett Johansson talking about how filming was going in Thailand and how it's been working with director Gareth Edwards. It's madness, it's, uh, it's, it's massive um, and really exciting. We have an incredible director, Gareth Edwards, and uh, yeah, he's gotten an amazing visual vocabulary. Scarlett also called the movie Jurassic Park, which has led many to believe the title of the new movie may indeed take us back to the park subtitle. Well, according to a new trademark filed very recently, Jurassic World Rebirth could be the title of the new movie. Huge thanks to Real News Hawaii for first sending this my way. The trademark filing shows Jurassic World Rebirth trademark registration is intended to cover the categories of pre-recorded video and audio discs, DVDs, video and audio cassettes, optical and magneto-optical discs featuring news, entertainment, sports, comedy, drama, music and variety content, pre-recorded CDs featuring music and entertainment soundtracks, downloadable audio, visual, multimedia and digital files in the field of news, entertainment, sports, comedy, drama, music, and variety, downloadable software. So obviously this trademark just covers absolutely everything like most trademarks do for this type of title. At first glance, I gotta say, the idea that this is the movie title isn't standing out to me. I'm not sure where that exactly came from. In fact, let's just take a little bit of a closer look at those primary classes. 021 Electrical Apparatus, Machines and Supplies, Cutlery, Machinery, Tools and Parts Thereof, Measuring and Scientific Appliances, Musical Instruments and Supplies, Prints and publications. So this isn't really sounding like a movie trademark to me, but who knows. At this point, all I'm saying is those who are 100% certain that this is the movie title, I wouldn't be so sure. We know that water finds a way. Yeah, it's what? It's from, they said, iconic line from the movie. So, Rebirth. Even though I doubt this is the movie title and could be tied to any number of side projects or perhaps merchandise, let's discuss its potential. The reaction has been somewhat scattered. Some are on board for the title, some disgusted by the very prospect. I think the title is just a bit too generic and meaningless. Rebirth. The rebirth of what? The dinosaurs? Perhaps it's metaphorical in the sense of a rebirth of ideas, a rebirth of the way these movies work. Maybe it's the rebirth of new dinosaurs, new prehistoric creatures. The title does at least in part align with the Jurassic franchise's themes of cloning, genetics, birth, new species. But I will argue that it is a pretty generic title and doesn't really mean too much without context of what the film is about. As some have pointed out, does the title really matter? Here's my question to you. When you went to the movies and saw the latest Ghostbusters film, what did you call it? Did you call it Afterlife? Did you call it Frozen Empire? Or did you just say the new Ghostbusters? We know that water finds a way. All signs are pointing towards this movie being a sequel that follows Dominion. So calling the movie Jurassic World, continuing the world branding, makes nothing but sense, honestly. And it's what we've said from the very beginning. Universal have spent the last 10 plus years spending millions, potentially billions of dollars, on the world branding, establishing their franchise as Jurassic World. It won't be changing. Depending Depending on what the movie actually is about, it could be refreshing to only have the subtitle as Jurassic World. This is the Jurassic World after all, stories that are happening after the Jurassic World incident and after the incident at Lockwood Manor and of course the incident at Biosyn, these are stories contained within the world of Jurassic. But with this being reported as a reboot, a new era, I would have expected them to just have the subtitle as Jurassic World and perhaps a new word. Maybe it's Rebirth. Maybe the title is Rebirth Jurassic World. Who knows? 
the title coming while filming is taking place certainly gives some meaning to it. The title has sprung up while they are deep in the story, filming those very scenes. Maybe the title came fully from the studio side, we don't know. But the timing is interesting to say the least, right during the middle of filming. Speaking of filming, I'm going to pull up the filming schedule. So filming began in Thailand on or around June 13th and wrapped around July 16th. Filming in Malta began on Tuesday 16th, supposedly anyway, and is estimated to be roughly six weeks in total, with some casting calls indicating the need for body doubles required from July 22nd through August 14th, and others are stating that the production itself runs from July to September. At some point in September, the production will then move to Sky Studio, in the UK for filming on the stages and as we have also heard they will be utilizing virtual production methods like the LED volume technology. Filming will conclude in the UK on October 18th but it's uncertain what the extent of the UK based filming will be. Currently the water tanks at the Malta Film Studios are surrounded by a large blue screen that is protecting the view. We have seen from filming in Thailand and from what we know of Malta that water definitely plays a huge role in this film. We know that water finds a way. Clearly a huge chunk of this movie takes place in or around water, potentially the ocean or maybe water tanks. But what do you think that really means? Our friends at Real News also revealed that the production will end up utilizing some of Malta's beautiful landscapes. The Coral Lagoon in Malta is currently booked for filming July 24th to July 27th. Just look at this stunning location. What does this mean for the story? Speculate in the comments. Is this an entrance, an exit? What part of the island is this? cast and crew are and have been arriving in Malta ahead of the filming and it looks as though filming has now indeed begun as I said earlier the working title is of course Saga that is what the production list are all currently calling it there is a leaked list of dinosaurs for the movie and at this point in time I don't think the list is legitimate but could be tied to merchandise perhaps the Mattel lines we speak about the list in our latest podcast. If you want to hear a more detailed analysis, listen to that episode. The list contained a number of marine reptiles. The Mosasaurus was, of course, on the list. A Plesiosaurus, a Nothosaurus, which was in Camp Cretaceous, and an Ichiosaurus. I have probably pronounced that one wrong. Again, I'm not so sure the list is legitimate, but four marine reptiles, four underwater dinosaurs, five if you count the Spinosaurus, this certainly hints towards the movie tackling underwater scenes for a variety of dinosaurs, species, and whatever else. We know that water finds a way. Yeah, it's water. It's from, they said, iconic line from the movie. All right, I think that just about covers the latest we know so far. Happy 23rd birthday to Jurassic Park 3, which celebrated on the 18th of July. Let us know down below what you think of Jurassic World Rebirth and what you make of this news what do you think the next jurassic world movie is about thank you for watching this video remember if it's not jurassic park it's extinct